Okay, today we're going to be working on our house design. You should have gotten your bubble drawing done and you should have gotten your measurements for your rooms done. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the bubble drawing and the measurements and we're going to use those to create your floor plan of one floor of your house. So first thing you need to do is grab two pieces of um, graph paper and you grab some tape and you're going to overlap it about one to two squares. Make sure you do this on the long side. Line up the grid marks. and Be very careful with this so that you get it exactly where you want it. And just use a little bit of piece, little piece of tape, go down the middle, and then finish up. Make sure you tape the entire edge of that, those two pieces of paper. What we're going to do then is we're going to draw your floor plan of your one floor of your house to scale using the scale quarter inch equals one foot. So this is taped together. We want to draw on the other side so that we can, um, we don't roll, go over the tape and smear it. Well, what we're going to end up doing using a scale, this is a scale, doesn't matter what we're doing right now, but what we are going to create is one square equals an inch. So this is quarter inch grid paper. So our scale is going to be one quarter inch equals one foot. So if you had a 12 foot by 12 foot room, you're going to have 12 squares by 12 squares. So starting in the front left of your house, and I go down, down towards the bottom of the paper, you're going to go and draw the first room. So the first room, let's say, is 10 feet. So that would be 10 squares. So we're going to go over 10 squares. So that's 10 feet long. And let's say it was 10 feet uh, wide also. You always go length to the, by the width. So this room is 10 feet by 10 feet. Now in your house, if this is a bedroom, it's probably going to be enclosed all the way around. So we'll draw a 10 foot by 10 foot square. Make sure you use a ruler so you get nice straight lines. It should go over the grid. So this foot room is 10 foot by 10 foot. If right next to that is a hallway and your hallway is 3 feet, you're going to go out 3 squares. So there's the hallway. And then let's say across the, the hallway, we have another room that is 10 feet by 10 feet also. So we're going to take and we're going to go 10 more squares out. And 10 more squares out. And we're going to put that as your other bedroom. Now let's say in the middle here you have a bathroom that's 4 feet. by, let's say, six feet. And then, so there's a four foot by six foot bathroom. Well, let me do it this way. We're gonna go all the way to the end of the hallway, and then the bathroom will be right here. So we'll go six feet over, so we'll go six down. And then you may have a lot of times in houses, if this is your bathroom, which is called the water closet, this is just going to be a closet, and we don't label closets. This is going to be your bedroom. We do all lettering in capital letters, and then we do our length first, 10 feet by 10 feet. So you're going to label those rooms. Oops, 10 feet by 10 feet. And you should do it in pencil so that you have, um, in case you make a mistake, you can erase. So then, maybe next to that bathroom or bedroom, maybe we go and we have another bedroom that's going down here. And I didn't count how many that was. Let's say that's, if you didn't count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 feet. And if it's on the same wall as the other one, my length is 14 feet. And this is 10, so the second one is the width, it's 10 feet. And we'll say this is the master bedroom. So at this point, all we're doing is we're drawing the walls, we're labeling the rooms, and putting the measurements with the length times the width. When you get all finished with this, you should have one floor of your house all drawn out on here. You should have your name up here. And then you will staple this to your house design plan and your bubble drawing. So you're going to finish this off so you have your 
rooms labeled, um, the sizes of the rooms, and all the floor rooms on the house. And they should be laid out similar to the way um, your house looks. We don't label hallways, we don't label closets, and the bathrooms we type to put in a WC for water closet. Um, and pretty much that's all you need to do. Quarter inch equals one foot, so one square is a quarter inch square, that's one foot.